All right, so um, patch version 1420 released yesterday, and we got 160 zones as we leaked last week or something. And yeah, we want to stall a evac shelter mission basically and see how it goes and how the rewards are. Yeah, that's it. Alright, so first of all, we need to defend the mobs. It's gonna be insane. Be hard. Uh, perfect 60. As we all know, Stoneheart Farah is the best hero, but holy shit, all of us high. Whoa. Also, bad thing due to NA servers. God. You shouldn't do that on a 100 thing. That's not funny. <laughs> uh. Alright, so we have cleared up the zone. Uh, actually not, there's still some stuff left. For whatever reason and again the xenombo shows us that it's the best weapon in the game it can compete uh with power level 160 house which is insane i would say not many weapons could do that uh we got a lightning storm so everybody building with metal has no idea about the game I'd like to test out the Xenon Bell on a 160 Storm Chest, that would be neat. Put that perform um, in here, but... The Xenon build does pretty well. Gonna get onto that building. Oh, my daily too. Yep, it's still broken as fuck. Even on 120 ping. Most, with most weapons you would die if you have a high ping like this and a high zone. But, um, this loadout. With this weapon, it's just, it, I have to call it the best combination in the entire game. Like, there's nothing else you could consider that. And I think that's a fact. Maybe some Paleo Luna build with some crack uh, melee weapon. But apart from that... And again, you have like this insane range with Stoneheart, which makes her also so great. Like you can shoot through the entire map with this one fucking arrow. You saw that numbers pop up behind her. It's just insane. And I and yet again, I see people telling me that the Storm King's Wrath. Again, the Storm King's Wrath. Check my ammo count. I just lost 20 ammo. Here. Wow, I killed one with 20 energy. Well, if I shoot with one energy, I can kill multiple huffs. Like... I have to get into my mind. Whatever. If you want to know more about this uh, loadout and this weapon, I made a full video. If I don't forget it, I will link it like in the info card. And you'll see it pop up just right now.
So with yesterday's update, Epic added some little Easter egg, I would say. Uh, the mechanical parts move now. They have like little animation. I think that's uh, I guess it's cool. It's not like it's not content, you know, but um, it's alright. I'm gonna skip now to the uh, defense. Uh, it's gonna be on time lapse, so you don't have to witness all the six minutes. And yeah, see you after the mission. Alright, so the mission is over now, and we're in the loading screen, waiting for my PS4 to get back to home base, and see how much lightning in the bottle we'll get. Alright, so the reward box just popped up, um, so my bet was including the mission alert we'll get around 650 and I guess now it's time to reveal the rewards. 515 and 110, alright so my bet was kind of off, like I think 30 20 ish so we just got in one mission 625 lightning in the bottle which is insane like that's actually a lot we're gonna be able to level some stuff in my collection but which is great and i think that's it for the video leave a like and a comment also you can subscribe to my channel if you want um join my discord server the link will be in the description and yeah use my credo code for the fans in the item shop if you want to support me uh the numbers have been crazy lately i appreciate every supporter and thanks for watching and see you in the next video